Tonight, more than a third of all Coloradans are fully vaccinated, and millions have had at least the first dose. But even as more of us are now immune, many are still hesitant to fully return to a normal life. Alan Janae looking into why that is tonight. Alan, we know that being vac vaccinated most likely means we'll be okay. Well, Jim, it does in a way. 16, that is the number to think about. The number of people, says the CDPHE, who have died with COVID-19 after being fully vaccinated. That, though, is among the approximately 1,200 who have died of COVID-19 since the 1st of January. Now, those deaths are yet to be reviewed, so not all of them, perhaps, are due to COVID-19. But think about this. Typically, in the first four months of the year in Colorado, about 2,600 people die of cancer. About 1,000 die in various accidents. Now, not everybody is vaccinated, so those numbers are a little askew. But are our minds ready to wrap around the benefits yet of being fully vaccinated? It's getting easier for a couple like Jared Williams and Andrea Tompkins to go out to eat. You're OK going to a crowded restaurant again. Yeah, slowly starting to realize that <laughs> both are vaccinated and now relearning. I had this social anxiety that kind of came out where it was like, I don't know if I know how to be around people now. Logic should tell us that we're OK. Our minds are wired for self-preservation. Mental Health Colorado's Vincent Atchity notes when we learn to protect ourselves from COVID, dialing it back takes more time. Those are exactly the kinds of behaviors that we're likely to retain longer. Grateful for the experience with this woman. <laughs> We first met 90-year-old Wick Downing and 86-year-old Shirley Schley when they were desperately seeking vaccination. Now they have it. You know, my bridge club is starting up again, and I, I'm not ready. Why so? I, I just am kind of leery of crowds right now. But Shirley can gather with others, especially if they, too, are vaccinated. I, it's hard. I, I really do. Every day I have to force myself to think, oh, that's okay, I don't need to do that anymore. And so cut ourselves a break. We can't eliminate all risk from our lives, and we actually live with an enormous amount of risks that are greater than the risk of contracting COVID-19 after you've been vaccinated. That much said, we try to protect ourselves from getting cancer by eating right or by wearing sunscreen. We try to avoid accidents by driving more carefully. And we do know that being around people who are unvaccinated raises the chances that you might get COVID. So it's perfectly natural to try and limit risk. But knowing just how beneficial being fully vaccinated is might help you get back out there. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.